Golden Warrior News, as we reach the ninth and final week of the third quarter, we build on our elected classes series. As we ask you students what Woodland should offer that they do not currently, Jackson Coomer and Colin Clipper have that story. Also today, we look at Woodland wins with Peyton Carter. In addition to that, our eighth graders took a trip to junior achievement this past week. Brayden Albert has that story with Mr. Lips and Mr. Jiro. Hardeman and Jared Fenwick sat down with Dawson Leasty to talk about his out-of-school internship and how it has helped propel him to the career after high school. Sports, we have a sectional wrap-up for our boys' basketball team, a boys' golf preview, a spring sport preview, drone style, junior high school wrestling, and this past weekend's indoor track meet. Not to mention our own Vance Canablo played in the state championship hockey game this weekend. And of course, we have our weekly pieces, Warrior Wisdom with Delaney and Audra, Piper and I and Nick Piedra asked our students, are you smarter than a fifth grader? Ethan and Jared of a new spin on our lunch critique series. Carter's What's Playing in Your Ear, and finally, we have our senior spotlight. I'm Maya Paul. And I'm Piper Clear. Today, we lead off the show with our first story of what Woodland students wish we offered as far as new classes go. Here are Jackson and Colin. Today we're asking people what new classes they want to be offered at Woodland. I would love it if we had a graphic design class. Um, we use a lot of that in my yearbook class. Um, and I know students who um, are interested in maybe going into graphic design. So I think that would be a really great class to have. Yeah, sounds fun. Thank you. Um, I think we should do I think we should do the driving classes. We can all learn to drive and not get wrecks. That's a good idea. I think we need some more hands-on classes, uh, maybe an automotive class, and the kids could change my oil for free, um, home ec, because I can't cook, and maybe you guys should learn to cook too, sewing, so you can fix things, back to the old school stuff. Uh, definitely the bet. How many inches are uh, A nap class, where you can take naps during school. There are some classes in that story that I would seriously consider taking. Me too. Good job, guys. When we come back, we look at our 8th graders trip to JA this past week. What was the new JA ability like? It was really cool. Um, the businesses from all across the greater Northeast Indiana area, lots of Fort Wayne places. Sweetwater was there, Purdue Fort Wayne was there. Uh, they got to be in a building and they got to start there with their volunteer and it was a really cool experience. How does JA help students? Um, JA helps students because it allows them to get some real world experience when it comes to budgeting, uh, income, uh, credit cards, debit cards, anything that you have as an adult. Um, it allows them to get some, some background in all of that. What did you guys do at JA? So we got to participate in a simulation uh, where students got an income, they got a family, uh, they might have had a spouse, uh, and they have to pay for all of the things that you have to pay for when you're an adult. Uh, they had to pay for houses, insurance, credit cards, debit cards, they had to do all of that, uh, and they got to experience what all that's like. Welcome back. The ICE program is a great opportunity for our students to get a head start on their career. Here is Ethan Barman with a story on Dawson Leasty and how he has taken advantage of this to start his career in HVAC. My out-of-school internship is HVAC for Yenser Gross. Uh, I like working on ACs and furnaces and doing it. It's, I do something different every day, really. It benefits me because after high school, I'll go into it and I'll already have an understanding about everything. No, nah, it's not hard. I like it. It's kind of fun. You don't have to be at school all day. Uh, struggles I face every day getting to school on time. Sometimes I'll, I'll be working and not realize I got to leave. Having to fit into type spaces like a crawl space or an attic. For that story, Ethan, I really didn't realize how beneficial the programs could be. I really thought kids just worked half the day. You learn something new every day. When we come back, Maya, Nick, and I took to the hallways to see if you guys were actually smarter than fifth graders. For this week's running report, we have two Comet hockey games. We have two home games, one on March 10th and March 11th, both this coming weekend. Hey Piper, how many inches are in a yard? Um, I don't know. I guess I'm not smarter than a fifth grader. Here's our story on how smart you are compared to a fifth grader. Hi Woodland, I'm Piper Clear. And I'm Maya Paul. This week we are doing Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Who am I here with? Audrey Smith. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Probably not. How many inches are in two yards? 72. Oh. <laughs> Who am I here with? 
Ellie Benjamin. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Well, probably not. <laughs> okay, what state borders Maine? New Hampshire. Who am I here with? Nora Worley. Nora, are you smarter than a fifth grader? Maybe. What continent is the least populated? Antarctica. Who am I here with? Lauren Snyder. And are you smarter than a fifth grader, Lauren? Yes. All right, whose face is on the $5 bill? <laughs> are you smarter than a fifth grader, Lauren? Yes. 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 Thomas Jefferson. What? It's Wait, Abraham. was it right? <laughs> it's Abraham Lincoln. Oh, really? Who am I here with? Kira Parker. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Probably not. Who painted the Mona Lisa? Picasso. Oh. oh. Da Vinci. Leonardo da Vinci. Who am I here with? Luke Meyer. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Of course. When's inauguration day? That don't matter. <laughs> One. Who am I here with? Yeah. And are you smarter than a fifth grader, Grant? Yeah. yeah. Okay, what is the most abundant element in the earth? Uh, oxygen. No, you're close. It was water. Who am I here with? Grant Parker. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? No. What's well, three plus two over one? Come on, three plus two over one is three. It's like, yeah. It's five. <laughs> How one. Who am I here with? Carter Fleet. Okay, are you smarter than a fifth grader? Probably not. All right, what's the capital of New York? <laughs> Albany. Al Albany. <laughs> <laughs> you cheated. What? Who am I here with? Jared Fenwick. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Yes. What's the longest river, river in the U.S.? The Missouri. Oh, yeah. One. Who am I here with? Blue Fox. All right, are you smarter than a fifth grader? I don't know. Okay, how many amendments are in the Bill of Rights? 27. 10. Thank you to everybody who participated. Now ask yourself, are you smarter than a fifth grader? I'm here with... Trey. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? I think I, think I am. I think I am. All right. What type of animal can live both water and land? Amphibian. That's correct. <laughs> I'm here with... Jace. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? I'm in 10th grade, so I would believe so. <laughs> All right. What is the largest and deepest ocean in the world? That would be the Pacific. That's correct. All right. I'm here with... Zach. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Uh, I hope so. All right. How many teaspoons are there in... Five tablespoons. Ten. That's incorrect. I'm here with... Dre. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Nah. Alright, here's a question. How many syllables are there in Mississippi? Four. That's correct. I'm here with... Jacob. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? No. Bruh. Alright, what are the three states of matter? Uh, liquid, gas, and solid. That's correct. I'm here with Jacob Gerardo. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? We'll see. <laughs> All right, here's the question. What is the clinical name for the thigh bone? I believe that is a femur. That's correct. Shut your bubble gum. I'm here with Ethan Klepper. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? I hope so. <laughs> All right, here's the question. What is the smallest fish in the world? Clownfish. That's incorrect. That might have been my favorite story we've done yet. Very fun and entertaining. Next we have this week's Warrior Wisdom with Delaney and Andra. For this week's Warrior Wisdom, we asked people what their biggest ick is. If you don't know what an ick is, it's something that makes you cringe. Here it is. What is your biggest ick? When people run with their backpack on. Um, mostly when my wife takes like two weeks to forgive me. That's hard for me. When they have bad hygiene or they're clingy. When they talk in a baby voice. When people don't wash their hair. When people tell me to do something that I was already going to do. When they keep bringing up old topics. When people bite their nails. When they wear socks over their pajama pants or jeans. They really raise the bar every week. I know, right? When we come back, we look at Woodland Winds with Peyton Carter. Shh. 
Many of our students are playing an instrument and performing in other venues during the winter months. Here is a story on our Woodland Winds, Peyton Carter reporting. I'm going to be interviewing people that do the winter winds and learn all about it. What is winter winds? It's like marching band with dominantly wind instruments. Uh, what do you play? Baritone. And what is your favorite part about it? Um, the parts that I get to play and uh, the, the way it sounds. Uh, I play auxiliary, which has a bunch of different stuff. I play the ride cymbal. I play toms, tambourine, triangle, shaker. And what is your favorite part about it? The show this season is amazing. I love the theme of it. It's like we're the newsies. We're old people with newspapers. We sell them. And the newspaper guy changes the price from 50 cents to 60 cents, and we go on strike about that. And that's my favorite part. It's just the season. And in general, I love the theme of it. Okay. What is Winter Winds? Winter Winds is basically marching band indoors, but you march on a tarp, and there's different types of marching. And the shows, there's also a lot more dancing. It's just like indoor marching band, basically. What do you play in it? I play a trumpet. And what is your favorite part about it? Um, personally, I'd have to say the people and the people that you meet at competitions. Uh, what is Winter Winds? Um, it's basically like indoor marching band, but in the wind. Yeah. It's just kind of in a gym, and uh, it's more focused on the actual like wind instrument part. And what do you guys play? Um, I play the clarinet. Uh, I play the snare a little bit, and I also play the bells. And what's your favorite part about it? Probably just like going on the trips in the bus, like being at the places, just like having time to just chill out and have fun with people. Okay. Thank I you. always like when we're at the competitions, um, especially the crowds. The crowds are really fun um, because we do stuff like the cha cha slide. And that's all about the Born Winter Winds and all about Winter Winds. Wow, that's actually really cool. We really do have a ton of talented kids here at Woodland. Up next, we have our sports wrap up from the past week. Me and Cooper are here today to talk about spring sports. Spring sports are back in full swing. Track, baseball, softball, and golf. On Wednesday, March 1st, the Woodland Warriors took on the Garrett Railroaders. The Woodland Warriors took the win over the Railroaders with a score of 66 to 40. The top scorer for the Warriors was Trey Yoder with 22 points and six rebounds. Good job, Warriors. Our practices are right after school from 3.15 to about 5, 5.15. Uh, we have about a week, week and a half, we're done. Next Thursday is ACAC. Uh, I think it's just important because it kind of teaches you how, as a pers uh, how to live as a person. Um, it's not an easy sport. It takes a lot of guts to step out on that mat by yourself, and it uh, teaches kind of you how like to um, win graciously and lose graciously as well because it's not easy. Uh, we have 10, which seems kind of low, but compared to the last couple of years, um, that's a lot better than what we've had. So our numbers are getting better. Uh, we have a few uh, pretty good wrestlers right now. I think we have one wrestler that hasn't lost, a, or two, two wrestlers that haven't lost a match yet, um, and a couple others that have only lost a few. So I expect us to have a couple kids in the championship next week. Uh, come out and give it a shot. Anybody can try it. So that's it. Okay, well, so uh, golf starts uh, Monday, March 13th. So um, certainly with golf, uh, we've got a lot of um, variables, specifically the weather. So um, hopefully we'll be able to get on the course, but you know, that's who knows. There's not much you can do about the weather. As far as what I'm looking for in a golfer, I'm really looking for someone who just wants to get better every day. Um, the thing about golf, you don't really play against anybody. It's you against the course. And um, golf is a sport where um, some days you've got it and some days you don't. And as a coach, I try to look for guys who can handle it maybe when they're not playing their A game and they can still um, shoot a good score. Because ultimately that's what it's about. It's you against the course, trying to shoot the best score you can. And um, players who don't get too high and don't get too low and just are able to you know, get in that, that zone and hit the shots they need to hit, those are the ones who tend to do well. And of course I want them to represent this school well too. Um, Golf is a sport where etiquette is a really big deal and, you know, throwing clubs and swearing and just, you know, putting 
reflecting poorly on this school and this program is something uh, we certainly don't want. What hockey team do you play for? I play for the Leo Lions. Is it a JV or a varsity team? Varsity. How long have you been playing for? About nine years. What position do you play? Defense. What's your favorite thing about the team you play for? Probably the chemistry. Congratulations to all the athletes that competed this weekend. Lynn really is proud of what you showed this weekend. Now we make a very smooth transition to our lunch reviews and Carter's What's in Your Ear. Here they are. Today we have no mic. We're switching with the cameras. Now we have a much upgraded camera. Today we're back with another lunch review with my good friend Jared Fenwick. Say hello, Jared Fenwick. Hello. Today we have Fiesta pizza or quesadilla. So Jared's got some lettuce and some salsa on there. Let's give her a bite. I'll give it a seven. Okay, okay. Uh, let's try the beans. <laughs> try the beans out. No chip. You're not going to dip it in. <laughs> yeah, I'll, dip, in it. I'll dip it. <laughs> I'll dip it too. Okay. <laughs> mm. It's good protein. I'll give it a five. Good protein. Good protein. Uh, let's try this slushy and then we'll call it a day. I'll give it a six. Six out of ten, and that's it for today's lunch reviews. We'll see you tomorrow. You know what it is? We're back again with the lunch review. Jared Fenwick will be trying the pulled pork sandwich today. Very good. Hmm. It's pretty good. I'll give it an eight. I like it too. Pretty solid. I was reaching for the mic. All right, what's next? Oh, we'll try the fries Ooh, with the ranch. Yeah. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Yeah. Ooh, some crispy. Those are crisp fry. I, I'll give those a seven. Seven? Okay. Okay. 
and then the, the Scooby Snacks. Scooby Snacks. Oh, we already like know good. what it's gonna be, folks. And that's an 11 out of 10. 11, beat the scale. That's all we got. We're back with another lunch review. Today we have the Glizzy Goblin. Jared Fenwick. Today we have hot dogs with chili and uh, let's dig in. Let's, let's start with the hot dog. Alright. <laughs> you put some ketchup on it, right? <laughs> yeah, I'll put a little ketchup on it first. Mm. Good solid bite. It's a good glizzy. Okay, it's a good glizzy. On a scale of 1 to 10. I'll give it a 7. Seven's cooked perfect. Let's see, let's try the chili. Mm. Chili's alright, I'll give it a six. Six on the chili, alright. Um, what do you want to try next? It's up to you. I'll, tr I'll try it. I'll try it. Beach. Okay. Mm hmm. Peaches are solid. I'd give it a four. Four on the peaches and the, and the broccoli. It's kind of a big lunch today. <laughs> that was a little, a little squishy. Broccoli is about a three. It's not three on the broccoli. Not too good. It, it doesn't look too good. No. Um, the banana bread. I guess. I guess so. <laughs> yeah. and then we'll stop it after this. Banana bread's a little soggy, could be better, uh, but I'd say I'd give it a solid six. Solid six on the soggy banana bread, and that's it. We'll see you next. Hey, it's Carter Hohenbrink, and we're back looking for music taste. Trey, what song are you listening to? No, I Fair, tra Fair Trade by Drake. No. Ah, Drake again. Hey, boys, what songs are you listening to? I'm listening to Shake Back by Kodak. All right, and Jake? I am listening to Margaritaville by Jimmy Buffett. Good one, good one. All right. Hey, excuse me, what song are you listening to? Um, Alan Jackson, Good Time. All right. Thank you. Hey. What song are you listening to? I don't know. So, tell the camera. Uh, Metro Boomin. What song? I don't know, Metro Boomin. Alright. I like the new spin on lunch. Spiced it up this week. Yes, and why do people wear AirPods if they have nothing playing? Anyways, here's Kai Garrison's weekly joke. Hi, welcome to this week's joke with me, Kai. Why does this crab keep all this money? I don't know. This is pretty show. Fuck out of here. Back to y'all in the studio. Wow, that's all I have to say. After our last break, we look at this week's senior spotlights. I'm participating in the ICE program this year. I'm working at McConnell's, uh, which is a wholesale distributor in New Haven. Uh, being in the ICE program has taught me a lot, and um, it is helping me learn necessary skills for my future. Here are this week's senior spotlights, Clayton and Nathaniel. Hey, I'm Clayton. I'm a senior. Um, I'm, I'm the coolest kid at this school. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I feel qualified to tell you to take as many honors classes as you can. Uh, it'll help you in college, and AP classes are fun sometimes, but they're a lot of work. So I'd recommend taking honors classes and experiencing new things like new sports. Um, so I'm pretty cool, you know. Uh, I did quite a bit during high school. <laughs> I was in NHS and student council for a couple years. I was a football manager. Uh, in my senior year, just recording the games. Because it rocks back and forth. Oh, you're recording. So I was uh, top 10 sometimes academically. I didn't really do any sports, but I did do judo out of school. It wasn't like school sponsored, but it was just at a gym in Fort Wayne. I've been going there for quite a while. 
Um, so yeah. During my high school career, I'd say my the biggest highlights for me would be cross country and track. Those sports were my favorite sports, mainly dealing with running. Uh, cross country is like more of a distance sport if you're into like longer runs and stuff, or if you're just wanting to like hang out with friends and stuff. I think that sport is really fun. After high school, I'm going to Purdue Fort Wayne to major in what I'm thinking about computer science or graphic designing. I don't have a specific thing I want to accomplish in college. I just want to like get on with life, you know, start working as soon as possible. Uh, hopefully major in something that I love. I, I do enjoy messing with computers. Congratulations, guys. Good luck in your future plans. That is all for today. Good luck to all of our Woodland athletes and other performers in action this weekend. Have a great week ahead, and I look forward to seeing all of you guys next week.